Okay. We're well, winning. <laughs> yes. Well, let me so. ask you. Let me ask you this. Uh, still talking about African uh, administrators. Three Africans have thrown their hat into the ring for the race to become the fifth president. Aoun Shegun Adegbemi, former governor of Abia State, uh, Uzo Ojikalu, uh, is in. Uh, your neighbor, uh, the Liberian FA president, Musabi Liti, also. Uh, talk about their chances, if they have any. Yeah, I think. Um, now, let me just say this. With regards to African uh, contenders, or these candidates, um, we are a family. Yeah. Uh, and I don't say that loosely. When we say football, we are a family, we really are a family. Yeah. And when we say Africans, we are a family, we truly are a family. Now, for anybody to come from outside or to stand up to say, I want to be, well, more power to you, and he or she has every right to do so. But it has to be a decision taken by the family. And in every family, there's a head of that family. And we have a president, President Hayatu. Yeah. And I think um, what is happening and what should happen and what will happen is that that decision will be made as a collective group, headed by him, and we will choose. So whoever you see emerges as a candidate, or the contender for coming out from Africa, I'd like um, to be able to be in the position here to say it is a decision that comes from all of us, from the family. Uh, uh, forgive me, but let, let me just put you on the spot again. You know, you talked about uh, Isa Hayatu, you know, being the cap president. He's been there for like, you know, since 1988 yeah, or thereabouts. Yeah. And <laughs> some of us, uh, you know, we've been talking about is it not time we have a change at the yes. helm? You know, what's your thought? Yeah, well, absolutely. And, and I'm not saying that Issa Ayatu will be uh, the, the candidate. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying he is the, f he is the helm. He's the head of the family, the African family. At so, least for now. At least for now. So it'll be a case of sitting around, and, and we are in that process of doing that, um, to sit around and collectively make a decision. And, and, and that does not mean it, it'll be him. It'll mean that it'll be, if it is going to be Musa, I think Musa's already taken the bold step on his own, uh, and they've said, no, we can't endorse mm -hmm. you. Um, that doesn't mean he won't run. He will still go in. He's got mm -hmm. the right to. Yeah. Um, but, but the point I'm trying to say is that President Ayatu will sit at the helm, we will all make that decision, and it'll be announced through him mm -hmm. as to whom. Let's get Kai talking again. Now, Kai, <laughs> um, this game against Cote d'Ivoire on Sunday, um, how important is it for you guys and um, what are the expectations? Uh, it's big because for us, you know, we would love to play the game in Sierra Leone. You know, having home support there would have been great. Uh, but at the same time, being here, it's going to be our home game. And I've heard a lot of things about Nigerians, you know, not being favorites of, you know, Ivory Coast so much, which means they get to support us so we feel at home. Mm -hmm. uh, but we got to, we need points, you know. So getting points from this game, it's going to be really, really big for us in the group. I'm talking about Nigerian football now, Kai. What's your take with um, all of this going on with um, the rebuilding of a new team for the Super Eagles? Um, I don't really know so much, but I have played, you know, with a few different um, Nigerian players. Just last year, I was playing with Kenneth Omeru in oh. Middlesbrough. Mm -hmm. oh. So it's, uh, it's, it's pretty amazing. I mean, I've followed Nigerian football, I guess, since I was a kid. And uh, actually, one of my first games for Sierra Leone ended up being against uh, Nigeria in 2008 and being on the same field playing against... Uh, Wanko Kanu, that was definitely, you know, um, my hair, it's like, kind of, <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it, was, it was amazing. And mm -hmm. being in Sierra Leone and playing a game like that, or even coming over here and playing uh, one of our games in Abuja, I was just like, mm -hmm. it was pretty amazing just to say, yes, I've played against Nigeria, because growing up, you know, the Amokachi and those guys, those are the guys who looked, you know, looked up to being a striker. Mm -hmm. And uh, to finally say, you know, I was part of the field and playing against those guys. But, you know, it always changes good, so... Um, the new blood and the new faces that you do have on your national team. Mm. And uh, these guys are doing well overseas, and it's really good. Mm. How about Nigerian players um, that you know in the MLS? How well are they doing? Uh, well, they're doing well. Not so well as I'm doing, but... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Oba, 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 Oba from Martins, yeah, yeah. which, you know, he's a striker as I am. I'm mm. leading the, the league in goals, and, you know, I know he's... Uh, He's, he's right behind me, you know, he's coming <laughs> to play well. But, you know, there's, there's good players over there, and yeah. uh, these players are doing well. And uh, for me, you know, it's just like the same thing uh, Madam President is saying. It's, it's all about a family. You yeah. know, when we're over there in, in, in the MLS playing, um, 
I might have never met some of these guys before, but right when you meet them, when you hear their names, and then you definitely go, oh, you're African, just mm -hmm. like I am. Mm -hmm. And then you just feel like this connection right away. So we all connect somehow. So it's really good. Yeah, it's good indeed. Thank Definitely. you so much, Kai, <laughs> uh, for coming around. Of course, Madam President. <laughs> As she says, she says, she's the most yes. powerful, most powerful woman, woman in, food, in football. world football. Thank you so much, Aisha Jasin, for coming around. Thank and, um, you. And don't forget, we need to change women's football in Africa. And it certainly will. Um, and may I also, again, take this uh, last opportunity of, of thanking the government of Nigeria who, um, without their permission, we wouldn't be here. Mm. Um, I'd like to thank also the Federal Ministry of Health, uh, again, for their, uh, their guidance as well, knowing fully well that we come from a country where we've had our problems, mm. and to River State, the River State government, where we'll be playing. I, I think this is historical also for them. Yeah. Um, again, they may not see it now, but it, it is in, mm. in the whole spirit of solidarity. Mm. I'd like to thank the governor and the people of River State, and, and I hope they all come out to exactly. su support. To and to NFF, well, again, you guys are the big brothers. Um, thank you very much to the president and to the entire NFF. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming That's good. Yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> Wonderful. What all more right. can we add? Mm. Nothing more to add. Nothing, Nothing more to add. Uh, really. it's, it's been good. And um, we hope that, um, you know, the games will go well. You have some good news mm. uh, from your side. We will have good news from, from our, our side. side. And we can always we talk about it. Just to also let Aisha and Kai know, could they were their brothers. You yeah. guys are also yeah, our brothers. brothers. So let the best team win. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go on this break and play some tennis and then we'll come out we'll talk about the 2015 US Open. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us. Welcome back. Highlights uh, from day two of the U.S. Open. Yep. The big guns still firing on. Mm -hmm. uh, you saw uh, Roger Federer. Um, yesterday, I said the, the high point for me was always going to be Andy Murray and mm -hmm. Nick Krigios. Nick and it, it turned out to, to, you know, the way I expected it was a three-set uh, game. And uh, it took a while before Andy Murray could overpower the 20 year old um, mm. Australian so uh, it was good uh, really no um, no upsets matches will be played today on, on day three as well okay. not any of the top guys Sunshine just let you know mm. will be there not really much for, for, for the ladies um, okay um, some of the results um, you have on screen Nick for Kiros, the guys, the one I just Andy talked Murray. about, yeah, and uh, Andy Murray, Andy Murray winning that one uh, in um, four in four sets, yeah. okay? Uh, so uh, that's it, what's the game that really stretched on? Uh, you have uh, Stanislas Zavavrinka took on uh, Albert, Albert Ramos. Ramos. Uh, he, he won, won that, that one, one in, three, in three sets, um, three sets. as well. And um, we, we move on quickly, if we can. Uh, Leonardo Mayer took on Roger, Roger Federer. Federer. What was the... Uh, it was no match. Yeah. No match for the I, I wouldn't. Try. I wouldn't expect any problem mm. for Roger Federer in, in round one. one. So he booked his place uh, in round Alexandra two. Nevelson and Leighton Le Hewitt. Uh, Le uh, Le he's I thought, been there forever. I thought Le he said he retired. But yeah, but uh, <laughs> he just keeps coming he, back over he, and over he, again. Came back. For, for the ladies, Petra Kivitova, as expected, two sets victory over uh, Laura, Laura Siegmund. Samantha Stozo as well mm -hmm. progressed. Um, Timia Babos. Yeah, it, uh, it is Flavia 
Panetta, that is just going to come up on your screen, um, progressed as well, uh, even though the game was stretched. Mm. Um, uh, other ones, um, Nicole Gibbs uh, lost to Lourdes, Lourdes Dominic, uh, Dom Dominguez. Dominguez. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Top <laughs> twister there. Yeah. So those are some of um, the results uh, from the US Open. I'm from Kei Nishikori. Uh, not much of an upset has not happened an upset. Uh, at the US Open. Yeah. And of course, quickly, I have to talk about Rafa Nadal. Yes, he, even though he won this game, but we saw the way he had to battle it out for. And if you're you know, struggling like that, if you're struggling you said it, like yes. that in round one, it's it's no good sign. That it has to be flawless far. round one, round two. So round Nadal two. has to really uh, work on his game Rally, a little bit more. Rally, uh, with his power play. All right, you have some tweets, Austin. So just one uh, quickly from Michael Nix. He says uh, it's quite interesting uh, to have Sierra Leone adopting Nigeria as a. Uh, the second home. Hopefully, the lads will embrace mm. and capture the fans. And so we're good football hope. people. Yeah, yeah. and we definitely hope the fans will uh, in Port Harcourt will definitely come out uh, to see uh, that game. It doesn't matter who they're supporting, whether it's Cote d'Ivoire or uh, come out and just come out game. and enjoy the beautiful win. game of football. Right, that will be uh, just about it for this edition. Thank you so much for staying with us. We'll do it again same time tomorrow. I'm yours truly, Ayotunde Balogun. What time flies when you're having fun? We thought we weren't going to end it, but we have to. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow. Uh, we'll be all smiles. There'll be goodness to share. Till then, bye bye. I'm Yemi Adebayo. I'm Austin Okonakpan, and because it's an action packed world of sports, you can keep talking to us on Twitter, our channels underscore sports, and on Facebook, our channels hyphen sports. That's another reason for you to keep talking sports. Bye for now.